Welcome into the garage for another Tuesday's informative tips video and today we are talking painting <clears throat> and parts storage. So I'm going to share with you kind of my process of getting parts painted in the building process. So what you see in front of you is a, is a plastic container. <clears throat> this actually was uh, took from a toolbox. It was you know, it sat on top of the lid of the toolbox to hold, you know, various bits that you would use, you know, like screws and that type of thing. So I stole it from a toolbox. And what I do with this is it is my parts storage container for when I'm building kits. So what I do when I get started building the kit, when I get started on, on a new kit, I go through and I uh, remove all the parts from the trees. And not all the parts, but a majority of the parts from the trees. And I put them in here. What I'm also doing is I'm also color coordinating the parts and grouping them together. Like, for instance, all the parts that need to be painted black will go in one container. Like, if they'll fit, they'll go in one container or one compartment. And if the part, then I move on to the next color. <clears throat> Everything that needs to be painted, say, like aluminum, steel, that type of metallic type of color or metalizer color will go in uh, separate, their own compartments. And I kind of go down the line for what's going to be painted, uh, what parts get painted most of what color, if that makes sense. Yeah. I also try to, if I can, group the parts together as well. But I don't, that doesn't always necessarily work out. <clears throat> it just depends on the kit. But like, I like, we'll put the interior parts together in one compartment. The engine, comp the engine parts, if I'm building a kit with an engine, will go in its own compartment. Uh, suspension, chassis pieces will go in and up in, a, in its own compartment, so on, and you know, and then kind of group the parts together as well. Depending on that's how I'm gonna, if I'm gonna build it that way, if I'm gonna build it uh, that way, if I'm just gonna do a free for all. So then, once I get everything sorted and grouped together, then obviously I go through, get the parts cleaned up, and do everything I need to before I get done from painting. And then once I'm ready, take it out. And then when I get to the garage and ready for painting, I know exactly what's got to get painted, what color, and then it makes it so much easier when I'm when I'm doing my painting because I like to do uh, batch painting, if you will. I like to get everything painted at once, then I come back and do all my de detail painting, maybe with the brush or what have you later on. So I start with, you know, say start with the black parts, get all the black parts painted, great. Then I know the next parts are going to be, say, aluminum or something, grab those, boom, get them knocked down and down the line until everything is painted and I can move forward with the building process. And I do find this actually does help me stay productive doing it this way. And the other nice thing about this is once I start on the kit, the parts go in here and they don't leave until they're either getting painted or until I need them. So it does help me keep track of the parts. I'm not going to say I don't lose parts any less. I probably still lose them the same amount of time. I probably lose the same amount of parts. But I do think this helps me keep track of parts better. I know where they're going to be. They're going to be locked in this con container. So they should not be getting lost. So that is a nice added benefit. It helps you keep track of parts so they're, not, they're just not loose laying around on the bench. They're in one area. The other nice thing about this one, this little compartment of this container, is that pretty much your your standard 124th, 125th scale automotive subject should all fit in here. Obviously, certain things like the chassis, the body, and most interior buckets are not going to fit in here. Obviously, the Ford GT bucket does because it's small, but your normal passenger car is what not the interior bucket is probably not going to fit in there, and that's fine because there's plenty of room on top. Set them down there, and you're good to go. So again, I find this helps me stay productive and organized. And when you're organized, you're able to be productive, more productive, I think. So again, I, I highly recommend using something like this in your building process. And maybe you have a uh, something that works for you that might actually be that could be work better than this. I would love to hear it if you have something like that that you use. Again, just sharing one of the things that I do. It works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. If not, keep doing what works for you. Maybe, and share it with us and maybe it will work for us. So with that, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.